shalom. Love, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. I am Daniel from Canada, uh, right there up the north. And 6,500 videos I have given Israel the message of the Lord predicted in Isaiah 41 that they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3, because God has given them and all mankind the kingdom age covenant foretold to be given in the latter days in Jeremiah 31, 1. And God wants to now bring forth heart upon heart, his heart calling unto our heart, deep calls unto deep. And he's asking all of us to be a believer in him as love. If you have mercury in three, four pieces, it is mercury. You join it back all together, it's mercury. It does not change. So too is the multiplicity of the singularity of our, our uh, well, it's almost a tongue twister, of our uh, Lord of one, the Trinity of one. And these are times to believe in that. For God is love, and love is God, and Jesus is Lord, and He is love, and God is love. That name was foretold, and it was its older name than Jesus. Jesus came forth hundreds of years later, translation of Jehovah and uh, Yeshua into Yahweh, uh, Yahweh and Yeshua into Jehovah and Jesus. So love was named within 50 years of Christ being here. Uh, that is his name, 1 John 4, 7. Those who love are born of him and know him because he is love. To that name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess love. For those who love are born again of him and know him because he is love, 1 John 4, 7. So these are the days for all believers to believe in the truest truth. And along the narrow road, many people need a lot more uh, knowledge and a lot less judgment. We have leaned wrongly in a bad way unto our own understanding, and things have gotten awfully crooked and distorted. And so now the Lord has dropped his plumb line of Amos 9, revealing that he is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper. I have discovered that the world the religious world is totally apostate, totally uh, in the dark, totally are worshiping books that they do not understand, and totally do they want no more uh, understanding. So totally are they just totally ignorant. Ignorant are all those who are ignorant of love, for there is no darker darkness than the ignorance of love alone. And so know that the very best, for the very best kind of knowledge, always lets the righteous to see the very uh, extent of their very own ignorance. Nor is is the opposite of love really hate. For any spirit of ignorance is by far the biggest ravenous monster. But the worst thing on on earth is how often clueless people are ignorant about how sad the topic of ignorance really is. For many are walking on the wide road of cl clear stupidity, revealing themselves as people that have a form of godliness, but denying the power of love, who is Isa Yeshua, Jesus, our living Lord of love. And know that for the lack of spiritual knowledge and discernment, people have no discernment out there. Uh, and this, that causes many vital truths to become ignored. Accursed, therefore, are all children of disobedience who are happy wallowing around in spiritual darkness, not wanting all the prophecy that the Bible has been manifesting. So stand up, O people of truth, and call ignorance the poison that it is. From such a toxic mess, multitudes have stood in the valley of soulless suicide, even before they could avoid perishing. And that would be it for them if they're letting their love wax cold. It's the proverbial frog, uh, frog in a, a hot water. You turn up the temperature just right, and he doesn't gradually realize it's even increasing. And next thing, he's, he, instead of a toad, toad he becomes Mr. Uh, Dead Duck in uh, Cook Goose. 
And so we become desensitized for the same thing. Too late for their noise, cried miserable demons, as they, they left over in the residual wake of the removal of the banishment of Iblis, uh, Satan, Diablo, the father of lies, in accordance with Daniel 12, 1. The left behind uh, miserable demons, they are not happy either because their shepherd has been struck and them as wayward sheep they have scattered. And they celebrate the sorry fact that all fast fading folk souls never really considered the, the price of submitting unto the blackest gross darkness of their own unknowing. And they are happy about that, but they're not happy that light has come. They would much prefer people to continue to be destroyed for their lack of knowledge. Um, I, I, I live down here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and I tell you truly, even the church I used to go to, Windsor Christian Fellowship, I've heard them preaching, never ever will there be another word of God in this world. And that goes totally against what the Bible says. Daniel 12, 9, the word was only closed until the time of the end. And I tell you truly, truly, Jesus foretold it himself. Uh, not only the kingdom coming, again, the second coming of his word opening, but he said, Christ, if that counts for anything out there, and I don't think it does because this world is totally apostate. No one wants to believe prophecy, and that's the only way that we're going to survive is by understanding the, the love's depth that has been hidden from us. And so the long story short is that if we focus on what the Word of God is saying, um, Jesus said that unless these days were cut short, no flesh could survive. Truly, truly, I tell you, there is no way to cut time short except by the Word of God moving again. And I am the Gospel writer foretold to write the everlasting Gospel, uh, which is apparent because I have 60 or 500 videos reading it. Let those who readeth it run. The vision of God was for the appointed time at the end. And now you may behold he whose soul is not upright, but the just shall live by my faith, even though my soul hasn't been upright. And I've been transgressed by one because I am as greedy as hell. And I will embrace all people of the earth unto myself for a risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man, as he foretold happening. And all against that are spitting at Christ if they claim they're on his side. Because this is the manifestation of his prayer of Gethsemane. And wouldn't you know it, his most passionate prayer was his message of Malachi 3.1 that prepares his own way. And wouldn't you know it, that brings his prophecy of arising as a good shepherd over everybody into alignment. And uh, this is the fruition of Israel inheriting all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3. That is why God has called them Chrislam, uh, the name he has given me for them. And we are angels, by the way, uh, because we are angels in the flesh. Jesus said uh, that we are gods in John 10. The Bible says that the glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former. And the first are last and last are first. But it was foretold that in the latter days would come the revelation of the sons and daughters of God that all the creation has been growing with great expectation for over. Because truly, truly, I say unto you that we have been made higher than the angels. We have been made last because we are to be first. And the glory of the Lord will arise in us. And that is why it is up to us to judge the fallen ones before us because God will not judge them. And neither will he judge us. If he was, he would be a sinner and he would be guilty of favoritism. He's got sons uh, uh, and daughters on different uh, plateaus. His angelic beings that were created uh, at a higher level uh, seemingly than us. But yet we are the most beautiful angelic beings of love of all of them. And so praise to God that um, people must open their hearts and minds to the Kingdom Age message here. And uh, of, in spite of all forms of lack of knowledge, and of all of them, the most delusional form of ignorance is of the prideful kind. And that is why in these days of the refiner's fire coming forth from the heavens, that the proud and the arrogant shall have their heads burning as an oven, as their religion, relig religiosity is burned right out of them. How do you get holy water? You burn the hell out of it. 
and so too is the pressure of the transformation of coal into the most brilliant diamonds of them all. And so it reveals that we have desolate heritages as predicted in Isaiah 49, 8. So know that there shall come woe unto all those listening to evil's darkest realm. For negative feelings about truthful things come from the midst of a bunch of demons who do their very best to help seekers of absolute truth to ignore most of that truth that is before them. And with demonic influences, uh, all people pointing at this channel, uh, calling this message of the devil, are doing the same thing that was done unto Christ. Because I have Christ's ministry to bring his way by his word. That's why you will never hear me condemning any person. Uh, Satanists are my brethren. Alcoholics are my brothers and sisters. Prostitutes are my spiritual equals. And so are all people my spiritual equals if they have their love uh, as a child, if it's alive and it's passionate. Um, it has been wrongly taught that we must believe. Jesus said, many are going to say, Lord, Lord, and say, I don't know you. You let your love die. You, you committed the unforgivable sin, letting your love die. And therefore, it's never been about believing. It's He is the love living within all of our hearts. And it's not of ourself, lest any man boast. We are children of the star of stars, the star of Bethlehem. And he is love living within all people, keeping their love alive as a child. So it's time that we need to be moving and make sure if our love is stopped, stir it back up because he plans on saving this world one heart at a time to bring peace to one heart at a time and then heart by heart deep calls unto deep and it's time to leave the safety of the shore and come out to the deep let the dove of love who is now the most regal eagle of the Ian, let him alight on your arm let him sit there because he wants to rip up all that is of unloving ways and he wants to rip up all people that embrace ignorance so that their ignorance may go away and their knowledge will save them by increasing their love before it goes out and waxes cold so let the lord uh, god's people of valor well understand that the that a true love for truth makes every seeker strong and fiery as they pursue a loving knowledge that will be calm and deep. For true hunger is, for truth is wise, and it is discriminating, and its devotion shall always withstand many storms. And never let any people of truth ever forget that it's never what they look at that matters, it's what they see. We can look at, millions of people have looked at the Bible and they've all seen wrong. It took divine knowledge that God breathed upon me. Why did I write for 20 years, writing scripture that no one wanted to hear? Why? Same reason that Noah built an ark for nobody that wanted a ride. The Lord breathed upon me. And if, if 6,500 videos in a year and a bit doesn't prove that, along with the fact that I have the uh, passion of Christ, 48 half-hour videos of the passion no one watches them no one wants to know everyone is apostate all the religious people are proud and arrogant and the lord is saying i've got a shit pie malachi 2 to put in the faces of all the proud the arrogant because they have no root or or or, or, or uh, branch to hold on to if they will not embrace that which glorifies his kingdom of love peace and hope for his kingdom age rising Karma's going to get them if they don't watch out. I wouldn't want to be them. And know that many shall instantly see evil in the dove. With them, these videos of our most regal evil of the eons, in spite of the opposite being true, in the, the holy name of Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, Elohim, Adonai, Allah, whoever you call him, he is our carpenter of the ages, and he, by the rod of his tongue, the hammer of God, he's falling and he's bringing it down and he's pulling down distortional understanding because in the very moment that the kingdom age covenant was given to all mankind, all nations immediately became the Lord's when 
The seventh trumpet sounded first because the first is last and the last is first. And in that same way, Satan was removed first instead of last. And in the same way, you can easily see the New Jerusalem. Uh, just uh, Google NASA New Jerusalem and you will see photos taken by the Hubble telescope. So know that devil, devilish ignorance isn't just having a lack of knowledge but the refusal of someone even wanting any wise, heavenly knowledge at all. Uh, I can never forget Windsor Christian Fellowship, them preaching, you, there will never be any more revelation knowledge ever in the world. Well, how in the hell are you going to restore all things without revelation of revelation? Come on. Not to mention that it's foretold that there would be another gospel, everlasting gospel, the flying school, same thing. Uh, line by line, precept by precept, Isaiah 28, written plainly on the tablet, so all those who read it that may run, have it but two, two. A writer would come forth, Deuteronomy 18, one like Moses, a writer, a kingdom age covenant giver, and another Exodus leader, leader of the wheat out from the tares, as within a time, times and half a time, religion on planet Earth will crumble because of this message that I've been producing seemingly to nobody, but some people are, are hearing. And know that idiots that are closed-minded to, to love, they have no at all religious attitudes and the awful outlooks that first caused our earth to become a fallen world. So know therefore the knowledge is therefore the highest peak of all spirituality aside from love alone. For only learned souls, wise people that want to shine as the stars that we've been fearfully and wonderfully created to be. Only those kind of people could even be aware of false knowledge that's, that's far more dangerous than any ignorance. And such kind of stupid lies are always born upon the foulest breasts of, of nasty devils who values all falsehoods and hates all truth. But as for the dove and the mighty eagle of the eons who's flying high so that we might mount up on eagle's wings, uh, and for, as for him, it, he only allows honesty to flow within the, the fluttering wings of his most remarkable wonder. And so praise the Lord, it's time that we get along in the sandbox together. And he has making a way where it has seemed that there has been none. Glory, hallelujah, and all love, honor, and glory unto him. And know that it will happen not by power nor by might. It will happen by the spirit of love alone, brought forth by the eagle. These are the days of the lion and the lamb, and the eagle and the dove fly together. Amen.